So I've been running KDE Neon for a little over a month now, and this is the obligatory, hey, what do you think of KDE Neon video? If you're interested in what the installation and my first impressions were like, there is a video about three, four weeks ago where I talk about that. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my experiences with KDE Neon over the past four or so weeks and what all I've done as far as customization goes. Now, I haven't used KDE as my full-time desktop environment in like two years, but man, I can tell you I have missed how much customization you can do to the desktop. A lot of the changes that you see here are actually mostly in the taskbar. I'm using the classic app menu, I've got a four pane desktop switcher, icon only task manager, I hit a whole bunch of system tray icons, and by default the digital clock is like, the font is just like giant, so I shrunk that and made it the date and time. And speaking about font, you may have noticed that the font is a little bit different. I'm not a big fan of the default font, which is I think Noto or Noto Sans. I've always thought that KDE looks great using Lato for the font. I'm obviously using the Breeze Dark theme and I made the window decorations a little bit smaller because by default they're a bit too large for my taste. I've also made some changes to Dolphin. You can see in the places section on the left that I've bookmarked all of the EGIO game servers so it's easy to access those file systems. I also reduced the amount of items in the context menu because by default I found it to be a little bit bloated. There's actually a number of options in there that didn't even make sense, like start a slideshow when there were no pictures and stuff. It's kind of weird. And I think probably the last big thing that I changed was adding hotkeys for desktop switching. So I can hold Control and Alt and press left, right, up, down and switch to the desktop I'm looking at. I think these are the same key bindings that Ubuntu's Unity used. I just got used to those key bindings and I kept them. I switch desktops constantly, so it's actually really handy. So in general, my experience with KDE Neon has been absolutely great, but it is not without its flaws. Now I wrote down a list of gripes and I didn't bother putting them in any specific order because honestly, they're not really that big of a deal. I mean, I guess certain ones are bigger than others, but let's just get going. The first one on the list is that the taskbar sometimes crashes or otherwise gets stuck in a weird state and it doesn't reflect the current state of open applications or even the time. Now the funny thing is that I wasn't able to reproduce this for the video. I wasn't actually able to get footage of it. Now I know that my friend Fradam, who is another super awesome YouTuber, he runs KDE right now and he says he has the same problems. I believe that we're both running NVIDIA cards, so it could be display driver related. The weird thing is that it comes and goes. After it crashes, sometimes it comes back and then it, everything's back to normal. I'm not sure what causes it. And the next annoyance on the list is, while the way that you switch which audio source your application is playing to, sometimes KDE gets confused when you press the volume up and volume down keys on your keyboard and it's changing the volume on the wrong source. So while you have music playing or you're playing a game, you try to adjust the audio and it's adjusting it on the wrong source. That might be a known issue and I'm just not terribly familiar with the way it works, but that is actually pretty annoying. Next up is font sizing. Now this issue bothers me the most and it's probably because I have never had this issue in any other distribution or desktop environment and it's kind of hard to explain, so let me show you in Visual Studio Code. So notice the size of the font of the actual code and on the bottom left hand side of the watch call stack and stuff. And when I right click, look how small the font is in the context menu. And then look at the toolbar, look how small that font is. I'm not sure what causes it, but for some reason it really bugs me. It's like some applications just simply don't respect the font size set by KDE. Now I wouldn't say that this is the application's fault because this doesn't happen on elementary or GNOME or XFCE or anything. It seems to only happen on KDE and it bugs me. The next gripe is that the defaults kind of suck, honestly. Some of the defaults are actually pretty cool, like VLC is the default media player, but some of the default packages that you would expect to be there in common Linux distributions just aren't there and it's kind of weird having to go into the repos and install them. And that's all the gripes I had listed. So it's been over two years since I used a KDE-based distro as my daily driver. As many of you know, I was using Elementary for a long time, and then I briefly switched back to Unity, and it was actually the announcement that Unity was going away that made me start looking around at other distros. It seems like a lot of people really enjoyed my video titled, Why is KDE so buggy? And I watched it again, and it kind of made me think, you know, I haven't used KDE as a full-time desktop environment in a really long time, maybe I should give it a try, and man, I am glad that I did. 
The gripes I talked about a little bit ago, I mean, they're minor annoyances. None of them are really showstoppers. And I have full faith in the KDE team that in a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, those bugs will be fixed and I won't even notice them anymore. So if you were to ask me if I recommend KDE Neon as a daily driver distro, I would say yes, but expect to have to install some software that you wouldn't normally install in normal distros. I probably should have had a list of applications and libraries that I had to install after I installed KDE Neon, but whoops. Anyway, if the question is around stability, the answer is yes, KDE Neon is very stable. I haven't had any issues with it. But that's about enough rambling. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're running KDE Neon, why don't you let us know in the comments? I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.